All right, what is going on, Soccer Fiends? Hopefully, you guys are having a wonderful day. And today, we're here with the 2022 Winter PSA Pop Review. It is 2023, and it is February, but this is the best way that I could figure out how to do it. Um, as you guys may have known, if you've been following the channel, I was doing monthly PSA Pop Report breakdowns. However, just to make it easier on myself, and because I feel like it would give us a better sample size, we're going to go to a three-month schedule now. Now the PSA is slowing down, too. I just think that this makes a lot more sense than the prior monthlies that we were doing. But I think there's a lot of fun stuff in here, and I'm excited to share it. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do now. So let me jump on over to the spreadsheet. Let's get going. I'll be in a small screen on the bottom left hand corner, but we'll go through basically everything there is. So um, I have a majority of the athletes that I feel like are worth noting for soccer. I have different PSA breakdowns in terms of different grades. Then I have the changes they all made. And then basically over here on the far right hand side is sort of some important stuff that has been uh, amended. On the left column over here, you have the percent change for the three months in total. Then you have the total number of change. And then you have the total number of change for the prior three. So really what we'll be comparing here, you can see that this section of three months, Stanley Matthews had 37 cards graded that were in this catalog, while compared to the prior three months, he had 23. So that would indicate a pretty hefty upgrade of, you know, 70% increase coming on in then you can break down from there you know most of them are in med grades or maybe psa 2 through 5 of these certain ones and you can kind of you know figure it out as we go so i'll be presenting all the information i can and we'll draw some conclusions where it may be fit so starting off with stanley matthews nothing too crazy again you can take a peek as we go if anything interests you i'm not going to talk about everything because there's just far too much overall 12 percent change to the pop to stanley matthews scrolling on down we have de stefano only a 2.2 percent change to his and that was all in the uh, bruguera termo but a lot more of those in these three months than the prior three where it was only three this time it was eight then we have Puskas up here getting a good amount of newly graded items. There's a 1950 in high grade, another 1950 in med grade, a 1946 in low grade. So a lot of new additions coming on in. Overall, not too much of a change from the three months prior, only 21 compared to 20, so nothing much of a change. Difference being some better uh, stickers or cards coming on in in terms of the, uh, the earlier ones. Then we have Garincha, uh, nothing too crazy going on here. The Vecchi did get a, uh, a little bit of an increase. And then also with the 1956 uh, balance, you can see right there, a, a nice increase. But you figure those uh, those later years will come in a little bit more. Overall, plus eight increase compared to the prior three where it was a six. So relatively the same, uh, going along the same lines as Puskas. Then Pele had a, uh, a sizable decrease compared to the last three months. The last three months, at least in the ones I'm tracking, there was a plus 20, this time only a plus eight so a reasonable decrease there i only track a few of pele's rookies and that's just to kind of get a gauge more so than uh, to you know represent the entire catalog of pele it's just very hard to do so i don't try to do it then we have eusebio here in this three month segment he has only eight in addition to the 16 that he had prior to that so a bit of a uh, i guess significant drop off there the Verlog panel getting hammered with uh, with a few more, and beside that, just kind of a few odds and ends here and there. George Best in this three-month segment had six added to his pop report, um, kind of spread throughout. There was a, a high-grade one, a couple uh, med-grades, and then a few low-grades, so eight there compared to the prior three months where it was only two, so that's a, a sizable boost. Then we have Beckenbauer here, 55 in this three-month segment compared to 46 prior to that. Um, again, still some... Still some Good grade Beckenbauer uh, foosballs coming on in there. PSA 8 through 10 grows 1. PSA 5 through 7 grows 2. And then also, I mean, this is kind of where a lot more of the, the heavy hitting was going on. The Bergman portrait and the Bergman uh, second year with the ball. Both of those, tons of those coming on in. If you look at the German market, you can tell that there's a lot of them, but they are definitely getting graded now, so expect more of those. Uh, Jared Muller, there we have mm, around the same as the prior three months, 27 compared to 23. Here's some med grade Bergmans coming on in, 33% increase with the 5 through 7 pop for Jared Muller, so that's a, a pretty big one to note you also have a lot of grading of the sicker verlog perforated version um, a high grade coming on in a med grade and quite a few low grades then we have bobby moore his dropped off precipitously uh, from the three months prior um, 11 months the three months prior to this three month segment where it was only a plus four to the overall pop most of that not even coming in the rookie year only a plus one to the rookies 
Then Cruyff here, we have 13 in this three month segment compared to 24 in the prior three months. So that is a pretty nice drop off as well. Most of the ones getting graded, there were eight Fanderhoots and four Verlogs, along with one Palorex for the main rookies. Platini here with a plus nine to his overall pop, while the prior three months it was a plus six, so a little bit of an increase there, uh, spread out throughout most of the grades. Maradona, 30 in this three months compared to 37 the prior three months, so a little bit of a drop off there. Uh, barely any in high grade, you do get a Calciatori in high grade flying on through, and then also a PSA 5 through 7 of the disc was graded, but other than that, uh, nothing more than a PSA 4. Baresi, 7 in this three months compared to 5 prior, so that's pretty uh, on par. Hugo Sanchez, much the same, 8 compared to 9, so just looking at the big numbers here, this is going to give you a lot more of, you know, what you need to know from there. You can kind of, you know, pick it down a little bit more. Rude Hullet with one and one. So again, you know, we're kind of seeing a trend here where things seem to be pretty stable, I would say, across the board, at least up until this point. Matthias with 15 in these three months compared to 12 prior, so a little bit more of a boost. Then we have Mark Van Basten, where he has a plus three in these three months, so one a month compared to prior, where there was one in a three-month time frame. Maldini only 11 in this three months compared to 20 prior. So that's, you know, a, a decent drop off for Maldini and uh, same for Baggio. However, a little bit less 14 compared to 17. So not as much of a drop. Then we have some 80s, 90s that I, I'll just run through quick since they're all basically one rookie and there's not a whole lot going on in terms of changes. Uh, Cantona exactly this. Well, not exactly the same, but one less in these three months compared to prior. Um, Bergkamp, two less, only two coming in in these three months compared to the four that came in prior to that. Zidane with four compared to the prior nine. So, you know, again, another nice little drop off. Rivaldo, I thought this was weird. Rivaldo with 13 compared to eight prior. And uh, I mean, just every single range. I mean, PSA eight through 10 up 33%, getting a plus one. PSA five through seven up 25%. PSA two through four up 33%. So that's, you know, just being heavily brought onto the market. Roberto Carlos here. I thought that this was a, a strange dichotomy where you have Roberto Carlos and Rivaldo who, you know, the last three months were eight and nine and now this three months Rivaldo's 13 and Roberto Carlos is one that was very strange to me couldn't really tell you why that is uh, in all my tracking before this they always seem to move kind of in lockstep so maybe that's just some variance or maybe that's uh, something that will continue I am not sure then we have the OG Ronaldo here uh 20 in these three months compared to 25 the prior three months so it is down a little you also have the football 78 that has only been graded six times compared to the 12 prior so that's sort of you know the staple so that that's important to look at beckham 31 compared to 42 so still getting graded in good quantities but a little bit less also the shreddies got well shredded this month in terms of pop uh psa 9 through 10 going from 1 to 2 and then psa 7 through 8 going from 2 to 3 and then psa 5 through 6 going from 8 to 9 so a nice little upgrade across the board there from what I've always seen, that felt extremely rare. And I mean, that's just kind of strange that that many came in that quick. But with English releases, usually there are more to come. Buffon, here we have a, a fun addition. There is a, a 94 sticker making the rounds now. So that has been graded a good bit. Uh, whenever I put this in here prior, there was only one graded. Now there is five or yeah, five in total. So that is a 400% gain. And the Panini Calciatori up 11 as well. Uh, this should be a total of 15. So I'll just put it in there instead of uh, 11. So 15 compared to 11 prior. Um, now you have one more sticker. So I guess that kind of makes up the difference. Pirlo this month, only eight graded compared to the prior 13. So a little bit of a drop there. Thierry Henry with a drop as well from 18 the prior three months to 11 these three months um, across the board down. It was five for the Panini Foot, now it's two. It was 11 for the Panini uh, Equipos Europas, now it's three. And the uh, Russian version actually was two, now it's six. So that one went up quite a bit, as you can see, 100% up in two through four and 30% up in a five through seven grade. So sizable uh, you know, differences to be made there. Eto is at 14 and 14, so stays basically the same. Some high grades coming on in there, which is of note. Um, beyond that, you have Frank Lampard, uh, six and seven, basically the same again. Also here, some high grades, 40% increase to the PSA 9 through 10, so that's pretty big. Then you have Xavi, this stayed basically the same, uh, was 49, now 53. Ronaldinho was at two for the prior three months and now is at one. 
pretty impressive that that's only gone up plus three, especially in a, in a time where there are, you know, concerns about fakes, I guess, with BGS more so than PSA. But, you know, just good to see that that hasn't up too much. Um, you also have Zlatan, where he did not have a sticker graded in the last three months, was four prior to that in the three months. Now it is zero in these three months. CR7 here with 15 compared to the prior 17. Um, this one is the first of two notable ones where I added it up multiple times. And as far as I can tell, there is a PSA 9 removed from the Ronaldo Mega Cracks card uh, population report. Why that is, I do not know. Um, you know, speculate. Maybe it was overgraded. Maybe it was fake. Maybe it was trimmed. Who knows? Uh, more than likely, PSA deemed it unfit of the grade, and more than likely, then uh, splashed some cash out to a holder of said card. Beyond that, though, uh, you know, 10 coming in this month for the Mega Cracks and 5 for the football. Uh, before that, it was a little bit different and uh, was 10 and 7. So, a bit of a shake up there. Iniesta with 45 compared to the prior 65. However, most of these typically were the Monday Chromo. If we look at the last three months, it was here we have 58 compared to the 24 for Monday Chromo this three month segment. So that's a huge shift. What won up a lot was sort of the more rare Iniestas. Um, the Super League of Panini, number 392, went up 14, and the uh, 419 went up 7. While compared to prior, it was only 7 combined, and this time it was 21 combined. Um, you know, I, I don't want to get nervous, but that, that makes me a little nervous. Luckily, a lot of 7 and 8s. Rooney, 14. These three months compared to 18 for the prior three, so nothing too crazy going on there. Still pretty low pop across the board for Rooney rookies, which is uh, strange to me at least, considering Beckham's a plenty, but, you know, different eras, so I guess I get it. Messi, 2004 through 2005. Rookies, here we have 140 and 112, so down, you know, close to 25% in terms of population growth. Um, PSA 10s, the only ones in PSA 10s coming in this three-month segment was the Mega Cracks, the blue version, um, the Mega Cracks, the green version. I'm talking the team set specifically. Then you also have the white version. And uh, most importantly, here we go again, a, uh, a minus 9% or a minus 1 to the overall pop of the PSA 10 Messi Rookie Este sticker. Um, upon further investigation, basically this is the sticker that was sold through Golden near peak prices, I guess, um, around 100000 And at the time, a lot of people questioned its authenticity. From what I understand, it was sent from Golden to PSA. Um, just keep in mind, I don't know if I have all these details right, but as far as I remember, that's what it was to me, is that Golden was sending this to PSA. PSA was going to check over it to see if it was legit. They said it was legit. It went to auction. Now that certain number is deactivated, at least as far as I can tell, so it would seem to me that something has happened. Also, PSA has not graded any essay stickers for like eight to nine months now. Um, not to say that there aren't any out there to get graded, because there certainly are, and there are people that have said, you know, I tried sending them to PSA, they didn't accept them. So, you know, I don't know if PSA has been trying to figure this out and sort this out before they go in any further. That would make sense to me. If so, you know, as much as it kind of hurts the market and it can be painful at times if you're trying to submit, on the other side, you know, kudos to them for just holding off until they are ready to grade something if they think they are unfit. Uh, the one question then I do pose is if you are unfit to grade a Messi Este sticker, what stickers are you fit to grade? And that's, you know, kind of a whole other, you know, topic that we could go on. Won't do it here, but just throwing that out there, that is a, a huge, I guess, you know, loss to the market that one of those is gone. But hey, if you if you own one of the other 10, then, you know, all the more power to you. But yeah, most plentiful here, we have the Monday Chromo 23, we have the white version of the Mega Cracks team set at 30, and then the other ones are uh, pretty low relative to that. Then the final two we have here, Sergio Ramos, uh, 11 in these three months compared to 21, the three months prior, so he's down, and Lewandowski, 5 compared to the 7 prior, so he is also down. And uh, I'd say overall, that's that's the theme I get from this, is especially in pre-modern, um, you know, pops seem to be going lower, and typically, even if they are getting graded, it's in the lower pop ranges. Um, vintage, you know, at least as far as I can tell, still seems to be coming to market pretty decent, um, at, at around the same rates, 
I would say in general, there was never a, a rush of vintage to the market, at least in the same you know quantities that there was pre-modern. So maybe that's why it's falling back down while vintage isn't, at least that would be my guess, which would make sense to me and would think to me that at least we're getting back to a more, you know, normal market. And that's, you know, all the signs we're seeing, at least in general. Overall, though, I had a ton of fun putting this together, got a lot out of it and looking forward to, you know, still being able to sift through it and do more of this going forward. So we'll do this every three months. I'll come back again in the spring, uh, in May, and we will do three more months and we'll just continue this down the line uh, as long as you guys are enjoying it. So if you're enjoying it, make sure to leave a like. In addition to that, we'd love to hear what your most insightful piece that you took from this is down below in a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this as soon as we go live, make sure to subscribe. But with that said, hopefully you have a wonderful day and uh, peace.